general relativity, step by step. I've been talking about the comma goes to semicolon rule, and now I'm going to show you what I regard as the most profound consequence of it. Even now I look at this line of argument and I think to myself, what? Oh dear. Let me just show you what it is. I want to know what this is. I want to know what the rate of change of the fundamental tensor, the metric tensor, is with respect to um, space and time, I guess. Well, let's just have a think about that. Well, what's this in Cartesian coordinates? You'll see I've left out the semicolon. Oh, I don't know what this is. I want to evaluate that. Well, that's just equal to di by di x gamma of g alpha beta, which is di by di x gamma of the metric tensor in Minkowski space. My, my, hmm. Minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Um, well, duh, 0. So let me just express that. g alpha beta comma gamma equals zero. Well, of course it is, because this is a constant matrix. There's just numbers in there. There's no no, no dependence on position. Well, of course there isn't, because it's flat Minkowski metric. And so this is kind of duh, obvious. What's not so obvious is that. Just think about that. Let me write it out. Let me write out what it actually means. Equals di by di x gamma of g alpha beta. And we've got two Christoffel symbol adjustments. And I remember I always put the skeleton in blong 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 g blong blong minus blong, blong g blong blong. So I'm going to replace the first one with a pi. That's leaving a beta. Here I'm going to replace the second one with a pi. That must be an alpha. Uh, no, that's a pi up there, sorry. What's left? We have got a gamma downstairs and an alpha. And here we've got a gamma and a beta. There is quite a lot going on here. And I can tell you that that equals zero. So if I want to work, look at that, look at that, g alpha beta semicolon gamma equals zero, the covariant derivative of the fundamental um, tensor g, the metric tensor g, is zero. What? Isn't that amazing? Isn't that the most amazing thing you've ever seen? So watch, if I want to, if I've got something g alpha beta times some other tensor x gamma semicolon delta i guess well look i can just i can just say that's just g alpha beta x gamma semicolon delta because the differential of that is zero so it just commutes past differentiation that is the most useful thing you've ever seen in your life that's absolutely fantastic so i'm going to well no i'm going to carry on actually g alpha beta x beta let's say semicolon gamma equals g alpha beta semicolon gamma x beta plus g alpha beta x beta semicolon gamma notice how there's a summation in there and i don't care because the summation convention doesn't care about this kind of thing that's just zero why is that zero? Because the covariant derivative of the metric tensor is zero. Okay, so the metric tensor just commutes past differentiation, or, or, or can be taken out of any can be taken out of any um, bracket it, it, which you're differentiating. Absolutely astonishing. Even now, I find myself doing a double take over this. Absolutely amazing. Stop. <laughs>